Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Soy from Planning and Teaching. Um, today is another Plan With Me and my Teacher Edition Happy Planner. Before I get into that um, plan with me, I wanted to go ahead and make a list of all the things that I need to do in my classroom. So if you guys don't want to see this, then you can go to this timestamp here and go ahead and watch my Plan With Me video. All right, so for those of you who do not know, you need to go and watch my other video where I announced that um, in two weeks, that'll be my last day. So I have to get lots of things done in my classroom. So I decided to make a list, take it to school and keep it so I can do a checklist, okay? Um, so I have my filing cabinet and I have a uh, closet in my classroom. I have a library that needs to be packed up. Um, over the lockers, I use that space for storage. Teacher area. Small group area. Then I have a podium in my room and a chair. I have a fridge, a Keurig, and um, let's see, is there anything else that I need to pack up? No, there's not. So I want to kind of make a list of all of the things that I want to get done um, within these next couple of days. So I'm going to finish cleaning out my filing cabinet on the fifth and I also want to go ahead and clean out both of my teacher areas my small group areas I'll handle the closet on the sixth the library is going to take the seventh through the eighth I'm sure and then on the ninth I'm going to clean out my areas my um, over the locker spaces and then I'll get my podium out on the 6th, I'll get all of this out on the 16th, uh, which is my last day, but I will defrost my fridge on the 15th. So now I have a list of all the things that I want to get done in my classroom um, prior to um, leaving, and my last day is the 16th, so these other large items we will get out on that day um so yeah or actually just to make sure I have all of this done I'm going to probably pull all of this out over the weekend before so it's going to be the tent and um everything but my curate because that's where I keep my coffee guys so I cannot get rid of that and I can tote that out myself. So definitely all of this on the 10th and I'll defrost on the 9th, the 8th, just to make sure it's done properly. That way we can get this all out and I won't have anything to do the following week except for to get my Keurig. All right, so that's gonna wrap that up. I'm gonna skip one of the lines just so I'll know where it is in my planner. So I, when I close it up, yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna jump into this Plan With Me video. Thanks so much for watching. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up, guys. Happy planning and teaching you guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, let's jump right into this Plan With Me video. So I've already dated as well as laid down my header stickers. I will be doing a video on that. I know guys, you've already asked me for it, but it's gonna be easier for me to do that after we move. Um, and that's coming up really soon, so look for that. And that'll be another teacher video that I can have out after I'm teaching. I decided to use my new pens. If you wanna know where I got those from, I will have a video posted up on Thursday to just show you guys some of the planner things that I've purchased lately. Anyway, I used the blue one. I had intentions of using the two pink ones, but then I chose not to. Um, and the sticker books that I'm using are the green as well as the yellow teacher sticker book and the purple student edition um, Friday sticker book. So I'm
Okay, so now I'm just um, grabbing this box sticker that I found in my yellow teacher sticker book um, and laying that down as well as a checklist. And I'm just about out of everything in these sticker books. I'm definitely going to order um, some more because they're on sale right now. I have a feeling that we're going to have a new release um, of teacher sticker books. So hopefully we'll have a lot more to choose from. Um, I'm super excited about the classic size for next year. That is what I really want. Um, I really love my classic size Happy Planner and my mini, but I would prefer the classic size um, for my teacher edition. Um, so anyway, I'm grabbing this little flag that says, here's to a brilliant week. I think it's so cute. And I wanted to put that on top of Monday. And I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm laying down just some, um, decor stickers a little bit more than I normally do one says you got you got this the other one says inspire encourage and mentor that's the yellow sticker that you see there and I'm just flipping through looking for um, other stickers you guys know that I like to make my planner functional especially because it is my school planner but I just felt like decorating today so I added that little lemon that says squeeze the day and I'm using a lot of motivation. So on to the core of my planning. I am using my clear stickers. I absolutely adore those and I'm matching the colors. So um, there's a pale, like a lilac color and then I'm using a dark green and like um, a violet maybe. It's a mix between a purple and a blue um, just to signify homework and I'm just matching those up. So my students are gonna have a little bit more homework than they normally do. Um, this not this time around because we're working on some writing assignments and then um, I decided to go to my social studies section just because um, I was working on social studies uh, when I left school so I, it was still fresh on my mind when I was planning so I'm using these hot pink checklist stickers to signify what we're going to be working on in our social studies newspaper and then I grabbed this light pink um, check mark for my assignment and then I remembered that I had some clear assignment stickers so I'm gonna pull up that um, pink check mark and I'm going to lay down um, an assessment check mark and due date um, and that's just going to signify the assignment they're going to be working on um, this not week I mean this week um, in small group we're going to be working on informational text using standards RI 5.1 through 5.4 I'm going to be utilizing just some interactive notebook pages and I'm going to be pulling some um, passages from readworks.org and then I'm going to give my students a quick check on Wednesday and those who scored I put below 60% um, but I should have put below 70 and that's what I'm going to be pulling um, in my small groups just those who score below 70% into my um, small centers on Thursday so that we can review and make sure that all of my students are grasping what I am teaching because I'm doing um, two different sets of skills throughout the day for reading so um, it's really getting down to the course I'm doing a lot of reviewing um, also, I went ahead and put down that grades are due on the 12th and then that I wanted to work on my calendar for the teacher that's taking over as well as work on some anchor charts that I want to get up by next week. Um, so now I'm just writing up what I'm going to be doing in social studies. We're doing an Amer African American Revolutionary War web quest because week 15, which you think you saw me correct, is what um, newspaper we're on and it is on the Revolutionary War. By Wednesday, students are be working on their crossword puzzle. Thursday, they will do their thinking review. And Friday, they will have their quiz. And their web quest will be due on Thursday as well. I always give my students a Monday through Thursday homework assignment. And then I also have some Fridays from the past week. And I'm going to give my students those as a classwork grade on Wednesday. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to be working on language 5.2 A through B and 5.2 C through D this week. So that's where that homework is coming into play. We're going to be reviewing the acronym MAPS, which is Mode, Audience, Purpose, and Situation. And they're going to be working on a homework prompt as well as a classwork prompt. And they've already written one as of today because it's going to be uploaded on a Monday 
just because I had some issues getting it uploaded before. But they've already written one um, and they'll be writing one every single day this week and they will have a different mode for each one of those. So if you want to see how I utilize that, let me know. I will be posting a um, blog post on that on my channel. So anyway, um, in my reading standards, we're going to be working on uh, 5.2, 5.4, and 5.6. We'll do a quick check on Wednesday and a test on Friday. So that's going to wrap this video up. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.